we're gonna make the chord progression from this. Let's get straight into it. What up everybody, it's your girl July, and today we're going to make sad, emotional chord progressions, all right? So we're gonna start with a piano. We'll change the preset to, we'll use a row today. Let's go to the piano row, and we're going to use the key of D sharp minor. And that looks like this. So screenshot it if you need it. All right, let's start here. Make our clip longer. All right, so we're gonna use D sharp minor. So let's start up here. Super slow. I'm going to speed it up to 150. And let's zoom in. Shorten the notes. Cool. So from here, we got to build the chords, the notes from the chord on top of it. So we're gonna remember our chord codes. If you don't know our chord codes, it's 23, Michael Jordan, and 32 for Shaq. So 23 is gonna give you a minor chord, and 32 is gonna give you a major chord. So what that means is two. So here's three, two, three, and that is a major chord. And then this one, we're in D sharp minor, so everything's got to be in scale. This is in scale, so two. If we did this, it wouldn't be in scale. So that's how we know it's three, two, or two, three. So we're just going to bring it down. So this chord is going to be an exception. Instead of having it be two, three, or three, two, it's going to be two, two. Because if we do two, three, it's not in the scale. And you'll notice that when you're in a minor key for the second scale degree. All right. Whoops. So we'll drop this down. And then for this one, we got E flat. So we're going to do, whoops, that's in the scale. And then the next one, three. So two and three. So we got three, two, major. 2-2, two, two. this is a diminished chord, and this is 2-3, a minor. A diminished chord means, basically, it looks like 2-2. Two, two. That's the easiest way to remember it, but a diminished chord, technically, is when you have a lowered fifth. So the fifth note, instead of it being here, is down here. All right? So it already sounds really sad. So let's select our mouse tool and we'll duplicate it. We can even bring it up an octave, which is 12 notes, the same note, but up here. And a, you can also bring it down an octave, but it'll sound really bassy. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now we can make this even more interesting by building on. So we got our two, three, you know, all of our twos and our three spaces. So we'll just continue the pattern. So three, two, three. And then two, two, three. And you know it's not a two. If that's not in the scale. Two, three, two. 
three, two, three. Two, two, three, and it'll be the same as this one, but you can make it more interesting by adding some other notes. So maybe you go here instead. Since this is the second half, we don't want it to be the exact same. So maybe we add this note. And then we can go to this next one. And let's add two, three, two. And then we'll add another note here. Maybe fill in some of the spaces. Just click in random notes as long as they're in the scale. Now that sounds like there's a lot going on. So that's a good example of when you need to tone it down or also you could even change the instrument. So these roads can sound really uh, crowded really quickly. So one thing you can do is just go back to a cleaner sound. Let's try grandma's piano. All right, this still sounds pretty crazy. So we're gonna get rid of that. And let's zoom in a bit. I wanna make the second half a little more interesting. And it's gonna be trial and error when you're doing this by yourself. So you know, you just gotta make mistakes and if it sounds good, sounds good, if it sounds bad, you can fix it. That sounds good. Now I'm going to go to the instrument and then go to effects and we're going to add a filter. We're going to take out some of those lows and let's hear it again. All right. So now we got a sad chord progression. And when you're making your beat, you could turn it into something like this. Definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, cook up. And don't forget to sign up for the workshops if you're interested.